Short volatility versus long volatility. The age old question. Does it make more sense to be net sellers of volatility or net buyers of volatility? This video will help walk you through some of the trade offs between these two different strategies. First, let's look at the most obvious difference. When trading short volatility, you'll receive a credit from the market as compensation for selling price insurance. For long options, you'll open a net debit as the price of being long options. Short option strategies will tend to have a lower total return, but with higher odds of profit. You can see in the graph below that the green profit zone covers most of the distribution. Of you can see in this graph that most of the price distribution falls in the red zone. This explains the smaller odds of profit on long volatility trades. For long volatility trades, we need the underlying price to move in our direction in order for the trade to be profitable. For short volatility trades, we have a much higher odds of profit, which means that we care less about getting the direction of the movement of their underlying price correct. You can think of long volatility as punting on the price of the underlying making a big change in our direction, whereas short volatility is more playing the pot odds with positive expected edge. Just like the name suggests, short volatility is short sensitivity to volatility or the market's expectation of future uncertainty. Long volatility is long volatility and benefits from increases in perceived uncertainty. If nothing else happens, short volatility trades tend to be long carry or make money over time. Long volatility trades have time decay or lose money every day if nothing else happens. Since short volatility models have higher odds of profit, it makes more sense to trade them if you're not sure what the underlying price is going to do. However, having a higher likelihood of profit means taking home a smaller credit and having a smaller annualized return. Long volatility models make more sense when you want to make a directional bet with a high potential payout at the risk of a small likelihood of profit. With the higher odds of success, short volatility models tend to be a more robust trading strategy over time. Short volatility models tend to have a higher max loss and long volatility models tend to be much cheaper. Short volatility models tend to be better for compounding money over time and long volatility models are better for maximizing the potential reward to the potential risk. Nothing in this video constitutes investment advice, performance data, or any recommendations. Helium is not responsible in any way for the accuracy of any model predictions or price data. Helium trades is for informational purposes only and not responsible for any of your investment decisions.